Hey, welcome back to Struck Accord Firewood. I have what I like to call one of my favorite tools for the wood yard. This here is called the Mingo, all right? I was skeptical in the beginning about it. You can get it Amazon right now, about $30. Uh, made in the USA. It's pretty heavy duty plastic. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys was this here marks your wood to the exact size. It has different wheels. The wheel that comes with it is a 16 inch wheel. You can get a 14 inch, an 18 inch, a 24 and a 20, okay? So you can basically cut the wood whatever size you want. Has a carriage bolt that goes in here with a little wing nut, okay? And basically when that carriage bolt goes in there, depending on the wheel size, and obviously it says it, this is 16, it says it right on the wheel. Um, that'll, that's the, the hole that you want to go in. So the second one here is 16, first one's 14, third is 18, 24, and 20. You take marking paint, you put your paint in here, and you got to make sure that it has the, uh, the round um, marking paint. Not that they, they do have upside down marking paint that has kind of like a triangle. That won't work for this, uh, but it has to be round, okay? So what you want to do is you start out, see how it has this little tab here? So as that wheel goes around, it pushes on this and it makes it spray paint every 16 inches. So when you start this, you want to keep this against here to start. All right, and then remember, initially I thought if you start on your log here, that that would be good. First one came out like 11 inches and then it dawned on me with my stupidity that the paint is actually spraying four inches back, okay? So what you want to do is, here's a log here. You want to half the paint can, okay? Make sure this is back. You half your paint can and you just walk your wheel. Okay, I think it's right around here would be the end. All right, so one thing I want to show you guys is when you do it that way, it'll come out. Where's my tape measure? I just want to show you. Here's my tape measure. You go in the center of the center of the orange, 16. Center of the orange, right there, 16. Okay. And when I tell you, it's pretty exact. There it is here again. There it is here again. Okay. So that's what you have. You just stick to the center of your orange, and you're good. One thing I wanted to show you, when I do this, I have seen videos to where people have it like this. If you have it like this, that's great and all that. Do you see the, 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 the wide mark that it creates and how condensed these little dots are? These dots are around the size of a quarter, okay? If you have it up like this, obviously your spray's coming out like this. So when you, when you run this thing, you want to have it down close to the wood. So when you go, it's smaller. You know what I mean? Rather than the big wide spray area. But that's it, I'll tell you. $30, it sure beats the stick, it beats everything else. I come out, I lay, lay out my logs, boom, 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 boom. I cut everything and I'm done. So that's about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Just starting back with videos. Thanks.